So much has changed over the past four decades and HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, no longer has the same impact that it once had. Progress in treatment means it's possible to live both a normal length life with HIV and prevent the virus from being passed on. We didn't get here to where we are today without the fight, but we can be proud of how far we've come and the work that's happening in Wales alone. I'm proud to be part of our Welsh Government that's committed to the UNAIDS target of no new cases of HIV by 2030, that has made PrEP readily available for those at risk of getting HIV, and a nation that has exceeded the World Health Organisation target of 90% of people with HIV diagnosed and on treatment. From today, a long-acting injection is available for treatment of HIV and trials are ongoing for a potential cure. But always, with us, a lot has been done, there is a lot more still work to do. Work that can only be done by working collaboratively in that common course. And testing has a key part to play in reaching the 2030 target. By knowing who has the virus, we can ensure it is treated and not passed on. Last week was Wales HIV Testing Week and Fast Track Cardiff and Fail showcased and shined a spotlight on how we can all work together to increase testing and combat stigma around HIV. The campaign of videos, images and even murals just on the door down the road here in Butte Town aim to destigmatise HIV testing and start conversations. Whether those talking about it were health professionals or celebrities or people in our communities, the conversations were happening. We know that over 150,000 people have seen the messages so far and more than 500 ordered test kits in the first few days alone. But sadly, we know that the stigma, so stigma continues to have an impact. The stigma that remains around HIV is something we need to urgently overcome together. Together by amplifying the voices of those living with HIV as well as those at heightened risk of HIV. They're helping to create campaigns and services for sharing their lived experiences. We must ensure that these voices are heard of you to, of you to tackle HIV once and for all. And together by building the fantastic work we are celebrating here tonight in Cardiff this evening, medical professionals, third sector organisations and charities, local authorities, media, members of the community, all working together to tackle HIV stigma and end new, new diagnosis. Though different to typical fast track cities, the work of Cardiff and Vale has proved that the collaborative approach between sectors can work here in Wales. So now it's time to expand that work and roll it out to every corner of our country. And um, I hope I'm not giving too much away by saying that as a proud North Walian, I know that discussions are already taking place and I'm very much looking forward to seeing and supporting Fast Track Betsy Kualada in the not too distant future. Just enjoying my welcome remarks to close the day, I think you know, it's important to recognise that 40 years ago today, the gay community faced an avalanche of fear, hostility and vilification. Today, sadly, we see much of the same language of fear, othering and vilification targeted at the trans community. As should always be the case, let us be clear that attack on one of us is an attack on all of us, and we are always stronger together. Woo! World AIDS Day, let's together pay tribute to the trailblazers, the activists and the allies, the campaigners and the clinicians, those who've lived through it and those who've had their lives cut far, far too short. Thank you. And to everyone who continues to blaze that trail, many people in the room here tonight, you're amazing, you're valued and you are making a difference. Welcome back.